When you think about the true icons among sport cars, it's impossible not to think about the Mercedes-Benz SL. It's one of those cars everyone knows, and everyone dreams about. And anyone who loves cars knows its history, tracing back to the 300 SL race car of the 1950s. What a lot of people don't realize is that the 300 SL had a little brother, the 190 SL. The 190 was created at the request of American customers who wanted a more affordable sports car that still had the engineering and pedigree of a Mercedes-Benz. Today, that's still the case. In fact, it's more true than ever with our SLK class roadster. This is the third generation of the SLK. When the original was launched back in 1997, it brought all the Mercedes-Benz values like safety, luxury, performance and style to a new segment of the market. It also brought its own signature feature, its power retractable hardtop. It's worth noting that every Mercedes-Benz sports car since that original 190 SL has been what we call a coupe roadster. Up until the first SLK, that meant a fabric soft top and a detachable hard top that made it one of the first all-season sports cars. Of course, one look at the convertible market today, and it's pretty clear that the retractable hard top was an idea the world had been waiting for, or in our case, continually evolving and even revolutionizing again and again. So today's SLK takes the hard top a few steps further. But as much as the SLK likes the sky, it loves the road even more. There's no mistaking this grill. Even though the single crossbar and large central star traced the 190 SL of 50 years ago, it's as modern now as it was then. Of course, what surrounds it has advanced quite a bit, with LED daytime running lamps and advanced headlight technology. There are four different headlamp setups for the SLK, two of them with darkened surrounds that give a more aggressive look when the lights are off. And when they're on, they're on, especially the optional bi-xenon headlamps. The bi-xenon steer into curves as you do and are now equipped with our adaptive high beam assist. That means there's not just two settings, high or low beam, but infinite adjustment of the beam pattern to throw as much light as possible, as far ahead as possible, without causing glare to other drivers. The LEDs are in the air dam, where they draw your attention to the functional air intakes and mesh grills, which help cool the engine and brakes. The first thing you notice about the SLK is the proportions. Everything's in balance, with the big wheels, short overhangs, and a really nice hood to deck ratio. It's really tempting with a sports car to go overboard on the powerful hood. And it's really challenging with a retractable hardtop not to have too big a trunk. But the designers got it just right and added some elegant details in the process. There are three SLK models. The SLK 250 with the Turbo 4, the SLK 350 with a 302 horsepower V6, and the SLK 55 AMG with a handcrafted AMG V8. They all have minor differences but they have far more in common. The Sport package adds the AMG lower bodywork to the 250 and 350, with a more aggressive front air dam, sculpted side sills that sweep into the shape of the door, and a deeper rear valance. There are a total of six different wheel designs, each one a distinctive take on the classic five-spoke style. The 250 comes with 17 standard, but 18s are optional. The 18s are standard on the 350 and AMG model, and all of them give a nice view of the brake hardware. When you get to the rear of the car, you can really see how the details bring style and performance together. There's a subtle shoulder line that starts in the middle of the door, then becomes a crisp edge that sweeps into the tail lamps and forms a subtle rear spoiler. This crease helps define the shape of the rear fenders, which flare out to house the wheels. The rear wheels and tires are actually an inch wider than the fronts. This puts more rubber on the road for better grip when you accelerate but it lets the front tires be sized for the best steering feedback. Probably the most elegant part of this design is that it puts all of the trunk seams on the horizontal surface, making the SLK perhaps the most seamless retractable hardtop on the road. The tail lights help define the muscular rear end, and they're all LED with a distinctive arrow shape at night. The lower bumper, more so on the Sport and AMG models, has a center diffuser that sets off the tailpipes. Every SLK has a true dual exhaust too, even the Turbo 4. Unlike a lot of compact sports cars, the trunk is roomy enough for two full-size golf bags as long as you take the driver out of the bag. The hardtop takes up only about a third of the trunk, so even with the top down, there's still more space than some other convertibles with their tops up. 
There's an important part of the SLK's design that you really can't see, and that's the advanced aerodynamics. Engineering leadership is always one of our core pursuits at Mercedes-Benz, and how a convertible manages airflow is even more important than in a sedan. Of course, you want minimum drag and good downforce for better road holding, but our engineers also want to maximize efficiency, safety, and comfort. There are subtle but effective details everywhere. There's a little spoiler in front of each tire, which helps cut the drag of the wide tires. The side mirrors are designed to cut wind noise, and when the top is up, help keep rain and road spray off the windows. In a convertible, you can really feel the benefits of good aerodynamic design. And the SLK has spent countless hours in the wind tunnel to make it excel in three areas you can feel from inside the cockpit. Temperature, wind, and noise. Thermal testing helps minimize the temperature drop between the front of your head and the back, something that can cause fatigue and discomfort even on a mild day. There are two types of wind deflectors you can get, a standard mesh one that snaps in between the roll bars, or our air guide system with two clear wind stops you can just reach back and pivot into place. They even let the driver and passenger decide for themselves how much breeze they want. And wind noise is minimized by things like the mirrors and the shaping and sealing of the windshield pillars, as well as the overall body design. The SLK's cockpit feels roomy and open, even with the top up, but it still has that intimate feel that makes a true sports car such a special place to be. The dashboard is like a wing, spanning the cabin and sweeping into the doors. But the seats and console embrace the driver and passenger in their own defined spaces. And the detailing really sets the SLK apart. The seats are top-stitched in contrasting thread. The door handles, switches, and beautiful round air vents are all trimmed in real aluminum. So are the gauges, pedals, and steering wheel. As a driver's environment, it's just about perfect. Every control is right where your hands, feet, and eyes go naturally. The gauges have a twin pod theme, with the angled tubes that the SLK introduced with the last generation. This is another one of those design details that seems to have swept the industry, but the SLK had it first. The gauges have silver faces and lighted red needles that do a full sweep when you start the engine. And in between, there's a big screen with menus that let you personalize a number of vehicle settings or show various driving functions. You control it from the multifunction steering wheel, along with the radio volume and standard Bluetooth system. And the steering wheel itself is a delight to hold, with a thick rim, molded side grips, a flat bottom like in a race car, and paddle shifters for the automatic models. There's a wooden leather wheel option with burl walnut wood, also on the shift knob, console, and doors, that's polished by hand. Or the standard wheel is premium leather, with your choice of aluminum trim or black ash wood on the console and doors. In the center of the dash, at about the same height and focal distance as the gauges, is a color LCD screen. The standard 5.8 inch screen keeps it sharp colors even in sunlight. With the optional navigation, the screen is 7 inches. And the center screen and the one between the gauges work as a team, so you can put the navigation instructions on the small screen and have your album cover art on the big screen. Or you can have the map on the big screen and your trip computer or audio info on the small screen. Speaking of audio, there's almost no end of your music choices in the SLK. There are as many as 10 different input sources, from wireless Bluetooth streaming to Sirius XM to iPod integration and 10 gigabytes of hard drive space for your own MP3 collection. The standard 8-speaker system has a speed-sensitive volume, and the optional Harman Kardon surround sound actually listens to the ambient noise and adjusts the whole spectrum automatically. The optional nav system is state-of-the-art too, with 3D maps and Sirius XM traffic and weather. And with our new Embrace 2 system, you can use internet-based apps like Yelp and Facebook as easy ways to enter destinations, usually with a single click. It also comes with a very advanced voice control system that can learn how you speak, so you can do a lot of things hands-free. The SLK's twin sport seats are full power with memory. On the 315 AMG model, not only are they heated as standard, but you get our innovated air scarf system, a system Mercedes-Benz pioneered and that's still not found on anyone else's roadster. Air scarfs surround your neck and shoulders with warm air, from vents below each head restraint, just like a virtual scarf. We call it a season extender, because it lets you enjoy driving with the top down on a chilly evening, or a spring day when it's sunny out, but not all that warm. And the leather, 
also standard on the 350 and AMG, is treated with a special coating that reflects the sun, so they stay cooler and fend off sun damage better. All of these are also optional on the 250. The power top only takes about 20 seconds to disappear. The rear window does a 180, so the two sections nest into a more compact space, which is why the trunk is so roomy. You can also operate the top from outside the car. And when you lock the car from outside, it also locks all the covered compartments in the cabin. That way you can park it with the top down and not worry about your stuff. But the biggest news with the SLK's hardtop is that there are now three different kinds. The standard steel roof, our panorama roof with a tinted see-through panel, and our industry-first magic sky control. This takes the panorama roof concept one step further with a glass panel that's filled with electrically activated particles. When current is applied, the particles line up and allow light to pass through, like the regular panorama roof. But flip the switch off and they scatter, blocking nearly all the light, so you get shade and cool comfort, much like a metal roof. As fascinating as it is to watch the SLK open up, it's more fun to open it up for yourself on the road. All three engine options in the SLK, the Turbo 4, V6, and AMG V8, use our most advanced technology to generate more torque from less fuel with lower emissions. Along with quick 0 to 60 times, what they can do in a single millisecond is even more impressive. They all use high pressure direct injection and what we call rapid multi-spark ignition. So in that single millisecond, the injectors can precisely atomize the fuel spray, and the spark plugs can fire up to four times in a row. Almost every molecule of fuel and air is turned into power, rather than emissions. All three engines use a first-of-its-kind coating inside, called Twin Arc Plasma Spray. It makes the cylinder walls smooth, like a mirror, and it's one of a number of ways we've reduced friction to get more power from less fuel. The AMG V8 can run on just four cylinders when there's no demand, then fire up all eight in just 30 milliseconds. And in the V6 and V8, there's an eco start-stop feature that shuts off the engine when you're waiting at a traffic light, so you use no fuel at all. Every SLK, even the AMG, is rated to get at least 28 miles per gallon on the highway. Shifting an SLK is fun too. The SLK 250 comes standard with a six-speed manual with a short throw shifter. You can also get a seven-speed automatic. It's standard on the other models, with standard paddle shifters, a sport mode, and true manual mode. The AMG also adds our speed shift technology, which can give you rev match shift in just 100 milliseconds faster than a human can row a manual gearbox. The body and chassis are all designed to maximize rigidity, something that's even more important in a roadster for both performance and safety. The rear bulkhead is cast magnesium for high strength with less weight. Ultra high strength steel is used for maximum safety in places like the windshield frame and roll bars. Aluminum is used extensively too, in the hood and front fenders and for numerous suspension components. The hub carriers, for example, are forged aluminum, just like a race car's. And the standard four-wheel multi-link suspension is our lowered and sport-tuned setup, teamed with a quick steering ratio that goes lock to lock in only 2.6 turns of the steering wheel. Safety leadership is a given at Mercedes-Benz, so of course the SLK has a long list of the features you expect. Like the roll bars, ESP, and eight of our most advanced airbags, it also has a few you don't expect in a convertible, like separate head airbags. It's hard to imagine ever getting tired at the wheel of an SLK, but it can happen to any driver. So our groundbreaking attention assist is standard. This system looks at more than 70 parameters while you drive, and the cool thing is that all the sensors were already present in the car for other systems. It just makes a clever new use of the data to sense a drowsy driver. And with our Embrace 2 system, the SLK can automatically place an SOS call if any airbag deploys. It all gives you peace of mind, so you can focus on enjoying the drive. And that's probably a good way to sum up the SLK. It's easy to enjoy. With a lot of roadsters, you expect to sacrifice comfort, luggage space, or safety, or even wanting to drive it when the sun's not shining. You can enjoy driving the SLK all year long. It gives you all the passion and performance of a pure sports car, without giving up what makes it a Mercedes-Benz.